Yo, what up YouTube? Hope you enjoyed the Canon SL2 review we did last week. In this video, I want to answer another big question I get asked and that is, what is the best camera I recommend for vlogging or for YouTube in general? Now, I don't personally vlog, not a big fan of it, but I do shoot a lot of behind the scenes footage for my YouTube videos. And the camera that I would recommend for high quality YouTube videos or vlogs would be the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Now, full disclosure, unlike the SL2 video, this video is sponsored by Canon. They sent me this 6D Mark II and asked for me to do an honest review on what I thought about it. So though this is paid, I will still be giving my honest opinion. Now this is kind of an interesting camera because many of us aren't really sure where it fits in Canon's lineup and who they even made it for. So in this video, I hope to answer those questions by sharing with you my top 10 reasons why I think this is the best vlogging and YouTubing and semi-pro video camera on the market. So number one, let's first talk about resolution. The 6D Mark II can shoot HD video at up to 60 frames per second. Most cameras today will have this feature, so that's not unique. And many will complain that this camera doesn't have 4K, and I admit I am one of those complainers. But for making YouTube videos and vlogs, 4K really isn't that necessary. Most people watch on their mobile devices that can't really show off 4K quality anyway. So you're literally costing yourself four times more money to store the footage you shoot. And most YouTubers or vloggers shoot a lot of footage, and that really adds up fast. I would know because I shoot a lot of 4K and 6K content. And in order to store it all, I just recently bought a 96 terabyte hard drive that cost me almost $10,000. So make sure to ask yourself if you really need 4K because it does come with a hidden storage fee. Now don't get me wrong, I still love shooting in 4K and I use it for bigger projects, but for YouTube videos and vlogging content, I think 1080p is the perfect mix between high quality and cost effective. Number two is autofocus. We talked about this in the SL2 video that most of Canon's latest cameras come with the dual pixel autofocus, which is in my opinion the best in video autofocusing. And this is huge for vloggers as it allows you to stay perfectly in focus at all times. Now the 6D Mark II has the same autofocus system that is found in the 80D, so no advantage there but it is superior to cameras like the SL2 as it has more autofocus points to work with. Number three is great in-camera colors. We also covered this in the SL2 video. This is mostly a pro over non-Canon cameras. I think Canon has the best straight out of camera colors, which is great for vloggers and everyday content creators who don't want to have to spend hours in post color correcting. Number four is a flip touchscreen. This is a must for vloggers or people doing tutorials like me so that you can see yourself and make sure your framing and exposure and focus are all on point and being able to tap to focus is a huge plus as well. And to my knowledge, this is the only full frame camera on the market that sports a flip screen. So if you're a vlogger wanting to be able to flip your screen, but you also want the perks of full frame sensor, this is actually your only option that I know of. And that brings me to number five, which is a full frame sensor. Okay, this is probably the biggest point of emphasis of what separates this camera apart from its little brother, the ADD, and many other APS-C sensor cameras. The 6D Mark II is Canon's entry level full frame camera, which means this is the lowest price at which you can buy a full frame camera. And for those of you who don't know what makes full frame sensors so great, let me tell you. First would be the added depth of field you get with full frame cameras. Take a look at these two sample clips shot with the same camera settings at the same focal length. Look at how much more background blur you get with the full frame sensor. Having that bigger sensor makes all of your shots instantly look more cinematic. So at $1,700, the 6D Mark II is the cheapest full frame camera that Canon sells and one of the cheapest full frame cameras that anyone sells. So if you're asking what makes this camera $700 better than the ADD, having a full Full frame sensor is probably the biggest reason in my opinion. Not to mention that because of the bigger sensor size, the pixels are actually bigger as well, which means the camera will perform better in low light situations, which brings me to number six, which is low light capabilities. For vloggers, this is huge because you're going to be shooting in many situations where you can't control the lighting and it's going to be late at night or in a dark room and you're going to have to bump up your ISO. And after testing out the 6D Mark II, I've found that I can bump it all the way up to 6400 ISO and still get a very clean usable image. So it does awesome in low light, so awesome in fact that it seems to outperform my $6,000 1DX Mark II, so definitely one of the strengths of this camera. Number seven is that it sports 26 megapixels for 6K photos. This is kind of a bonus for people who mostly shoot video like me, but every YouTuber at least needs thumbnail photos and most will be posting photos to Instagram as well, so having the option for super high quality photos is a great plus. But even 
if you're strictly a video guy, if you shoot time lapses, you'll have super high resolution time lapses that will allow you to digitally zoom in post to create that illusion of more movement. Number eight is battery life. If you go with a cheaper camera like the Canon SL2 or a mirrorless camera like some of the Sony's or Panasonic's, you're going to get much worse battery life. And when you're shooting all day, it's nice not having to carry around dozens of batteries to be able to film all day. Plus, Canon is currently offering up to $500 of instant savings if you buy the 6D Mark II before January 6th of 2018 by discounting the price and by throwing in a free battery grip like the one you see right here. And this will instantly double your battery life as you're able to store two batteries at a time. Number nine, I'm going to throw in a few smaller features. This camera is Wi-Fi enabled, weather sealed, and sports the new Digic 7 processor. Wi-Fi obviously allows you to transfer videos or photos directly from your camera to your phone without having to dump it onto a computer first, which is great for YouTubers or vloggers to post a quick Instagram video or photo while you're out shooting. Weather sealing obviously helps protect your camera from dust and rain, and you can capture shots in rougher elements. And the ADD also has these two features, but it has the older Digic 6 processor. And with the newer Digic 7 processor on the 6D Mark II, it expands your ISO capabilities to 40,000 instead of the ADD's 12,800. So again, a boost in low light performance. And number 10 is the price. There isn't any other camera on the market that has all 10 of the features that I've listed here for less than $1,700. And guys, that's how it is with cameras. No camera will have it all, but every camera will have a combination of features unlike other cameras. You just have to decide which combination of features you need specifically for what you do. So why would you buy this over the ADD? Basically to get that full frame sensor, better battery life, better low light performance, and higher resolution photos for an additional $700. So if those features aren't important to you, then you're probably better off sticking with the ADD. And then why would I buy the 5D Mark IV over the 6D Mark II? It would be because you need 4K, want a boost in overall video and photo quality to take you to a more professional level, and you don't need a flip screen and are willing to spend roughly twice as much. So you decide if those features and price jump are worth it to you to skip the entry level full frame 6D Mark II and go straight to the Canon 5D Mark for. Now one thing the 6D Mark II doesn't have that is great for vlogging and handheld shooting in general is in-camera stabilization. So make sure you get a lens that does have image stabilization or your footage is going to look quite shaky. And the lens that I use for handheld shooting for the clips you saw in this video were all done on the Canon 24-105 F4 L-series lens that comes with image stabilization to make up for the lack of in-body image stabilization. Also I will address the dynamic range issue. Comparing it to its little brother, the ADD, the ADD actually performed better in dynamic range when both cameras were set to the same settings, as you can see less highlight clipping in the bottom example. But there was significantly more noise in the ADD footage at higher ISOs. So just pros and cons to each. In summary guys, no camera is going to be best at everything in every category, but I do think that the Canon 6D Mark II ticks a lot of the boxes without breaking the bank for anyone YouTubing, Instagramming, vlogging, influencing, content creating, or starting up a videography service. So there you have it, those are my thoughts. I personally will be using this camera as a behind the scenes camera, a B camera, and maybe even use it to vlog now and then. But up until now, I've been using the 5D Mark III as a behind the scenes camera and just the fact that the 6D Mark II has dual pixel autofocus and a flip screen immediately makes this more valuable to me than my 5D Mark III. However, this won't replace my 1DX Mark II so you won't be seeing me shooting videos for any of my clients on it but again for my own YouTube content this guy will definitely come in handy. But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments below what camera gear you'd like me to review next and to learn more about what gear is best for you to buy, make sure to check out fulltimefilmmaker.com where I cover in depth all of my camera gear recommendations. So click over here to join me for a free one hour filmmaking training. Also now through January 6th of 2018, anyone who buys this camera, Canon is also throwing in a free 13 month accidental damage protection plan with CarePack Plus as long as you register your camera within 30 days. But there you have it guys, don't forget to subscribe for videos just like this, and if you have any further questions, please let me know.